welcome back to the channel this is the stitching colorist with Shelley Lewis so um, for today's video I thought I would do my haul for what I got for the month of December um, this video will include some things that I purchased myself and also things that I had for Christmas so we'll make a start so I'm going to show you the things that I purchased myself first and then we'll go into the things I had for Christmas <coughs> so yeah everything's just dropping like an avalanche at the minute so the first thing I purchased these in earlier December these are Tombow Jewel brush pens they're a set of one two three four five six seven there's a set of 10 but it's including a colourless blender as well so you get 9 colours with a blender. I thought I would get these to put towards my Tombow collection that I'm starting to collect at the minute to accumulate. Because obviously um, in a previous haul I said I wasn't able to actually get the whole set in one so I'd get bit by bit so that's what I'm doing and these obviously are the what you call it the skin tone set so I thought I would get those so there are those I'm just going to try and find somewhere to pop these where I'll just pop them at the top there so the second thing that I got was this this is Posh Glitter Colouring Book Bohemian Spirit and this is obviously by Posh um, I saw one of these books on Coloritaville's channel with Donna. Um, yeah, you know what I'm like. I love my colour by number books. But when I saw this, it really did catch my attention. Because you have the pictures. Some of the pictures are simple. But on certain parts, they've actually got glitter like this one. It's got glitter on the flower and it's supposed to really glitter up when you're using your markers on them. Got some glitter at the bottom there. I'm not going to do a detailed flip through because there's quite a lot to get through here. Uh, however, I have coloured one in here so I will show you that while we're here. I did just a simple one just to test it out uh, to see what it's like. It's good, it's nice. What I found now is because I was using my normal pens, felted pens, I felt like the glitter was kind of rejecting the pen. So it didn't actually go as normal colouring. It came up as like a very light colour. But I still like it. I really like how that turned out. I'm actually really pleased with that. So I shall be doing more in that. So there's that book. So I'm going to pop them down here. Let me just pull the camera back a bit. So the next book I purchased was this one. This is Floral Design Colour by Number. And this is by Jessica Mazurkowitz. And this is a Creative Haven. A few of you might have seen this book quite a few times now. Um, I first saw it from watching... Oh, thunder junkies channel or now that she was a big fan of this book and that she's done most of the book actually so i just thought it was be a nice thing to do um i thought especially in springtime with the flowers um when i saw her finished pictures in the book for actually it looks really really cute it looks nice um i thought i would definitely go ahead and treat myself to the book i have curled the book at the end though from keeping it in the bag so the next thing I purchased was I've got these these are Crayola take note permanent markers and these are a set of 12 so they are 12 individual colors the reason why I got these as well is because I got them for my one color box but also down the side here it shows you the different things that you can actually colour on and one of them was fabric and I thought they'll come in handy for when my son, he's 
when he's at school sometimes when they have like a special occasion um such as children in need i have actually had to get like a plain t-shirt and do like a fancy drawing a picture on them and i thought if these work on that then that's perfect i've got some pens to use for that as well so i'm looking forward to trying these i'm definitely going to try them in my one color art books and see if i like them and i got these from my local home bargains um i think it was christmas eve i went and i picked these up well i saw them and i thought mm, i'll get those i think they were about five pound probably five pound so yeah definitely got those because i thought they'll come in handy actually i should have put them up there now the other thing that i purchased was this Oh, this is one colour cartoon characters lines colouring book and this is by Husky Wanna Fly Bright Ideas Paper Publishing so these it's just a lines colouring book um, the lines I must admit do look quite good in this as well uh, they do look quite good so they've got how many puzzles I think there's about 25 yeah there's 25 different images of the different characters throughout the book at the back of the book as well it gives you a solutions page where you've got different all these different characters throughout the book and yeah cannot wait cannot wait to get some pictures done in that um i saw this book initially on instagram on bright ideas page and i thought yeah i've definitely got to get that book and try it out <clears throat> so the next thing i'm just going to sort these out because some of these books i did get myself so i'm just going to pop those there a minute just balance them so the next couple of books I actually got myself so i got this one this is mickey mouse pixel art color by number it's size for kids, 50 giant pages, but you know what us adults are like. We enjoy these as much. Um, and I'm just trying to have a look who the book, who these are by. It does not say who the boy though. That's the only thing. At the back of the book, it gives you some idea. Well, it gives you the finished images throughout the book, and obviously they are pixelated, but they do look a lot of fun. They're one-sided. It's printed by Great Britain by Amazon. And at the back it says, Without your input we don't exist. Please cheer us and leave a review on Amazon. Which is great in all, but yeah, it would help if it had down who the book was by. <laughs> so these are what the pixel looks like. I'm not going to go do a flip through because obviously it's just like this. As you can see, they have a really simple colour palette. Um, even though the one sided, the paper is, it's not way the thin, but it's not absolutely thick. It's just right. Nice, smooth paper. Um, I'll definitely try colouring pens. Alcohol markers, not so sure because I don't know about the bleed through in between the lines. But yeah. I shall definitely be using that and I shall be using my colouring pencils in that as well. So the next one I got is another one in that collection which is which is uh, Sonic Pixel colour by number 50 giant pages and again at the back of the book it shows you some of the images in the book that are throughout the book and again it's like the other one a very simple colour palette um oh uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to doing these i've really got into my pixel coloring books at the minute and i yeah i cannot wait actually these books i did not get myself these were what i got from my amazon vouchers uh for christmas off my auntie so yeah i don't know why i said i got those myself so the next one I got with my Amazon voucher off my aunt was this one. This is Harry Potter pixel art colour by number and again 50 colouring pages. You have your finished images on the back 
and this one is like the other ones uh, a very very simple color palette so i'm just really looking forward to doing these books i cannot wait um the next one i got with my amazon voucher was this one this one's pixel quest color by number animals and this is volume one and this is 35 pages at the back of the book it gives you the, your colour key your colour code at the top and this is by it does have this one oh. Oh. I hate it when they don't do this when they don't include who the actual books buy because they do have them on the Amazon page that's why I actually purchased them they do have them but they just don't put them in the actual books so yeah that's the only thing um this book so it looks like it goes from easy designs easy pixels going to a bit slightly harder pixels and then it looks like it goes into smaller pixels and it does have a very simple color palette as well and i've just now oh yeah it does have the color palette on here so yeah it goes into smaller pixels like that hmm, that's very interesting i never noticed that before that it goes into smaller pixels ah this is bright ideas paper publishing so it's the same as the one color cartoon characters it's the same publisher so yeah i got that one i saw i think it was lisa's coloring corner had one of these i'm not sure if it was the animal ones or it was another one that she had so the next one hmm, the next one i got i'm not going to say who i got these by from amazon veggies because to be honest i've completely forgot now <laughs> anyway Another book I had with some Amazon vouchers for Christmas was this book uh, of colour by number and this one has got 70 colouring pages in. It's just plain at the back, there's nothing at the back of it. So with this one you have eight smaller pixels but with a simple colour palette. It has some really nice pictures, the paper quality is okay not too bad when i first looked at this book i opened it up at a page like that and i was a bit oh dear is it one of these books that are like really small pictures and yeah one of those books you're not going to be very impressed with but then when i looked it had bigger pictures like that so i thought actually that's not too bad that is all right so yeah cannot wait to get started in here like all my other books really love that and again it doesn't say who it's by oh guys please put who the books by in the books it's gonna be dark in here i have put the light on as well it's because it's really dreary in it oh god it is so raining outside so the next book that i got with some amazon vouchers is this one this is colour by number animal mosaics and this is black the black background version i have got the normal one at the back of the book it gives you a 22 colour palette and with this one it's just the same as the other ones but with the other ones where you have to colour the lines in you don't colour the lines in this one so i had to pick that up with my vouchers so there is that one the next one is colour by number travel mosaics black background version by sun life drawing and again i have got the normal version of this um but i definitely had to get the black uh, line version because i must admit out of books i do prefer the black line edition i know there's quite a few of you out there that do like the ones where you're filling the lines but with me i just find it really tedious having to do all the lines and yeah i thought i'm just going to get the black background version um the ones that i've got that I have got that you do have to do the outlining i will keep them and i'll do them but yeah i'll go straight to these 
So there is that one. <clears throat> so the next one, I got Mosaic Art Vintage Cars 3mm sections, colour by number. And this is by Sachin Sach Diva. At the back of the book, it shows you some samples that they've got in the book and also two other books that they do. This has got a 24 colour palette in the book. And this one, like their other pics, two of their other pixel books, I think it's by Prachi Duan Sach Diva. These are smaller pixels. These are your Belba family size pixels. And we all know that I do love Belba family pixels. The numbers are very faint. So if you do suffer with visual impairment, uh, it may be a bit more difficult for you to do this. But if you don't, you should be fine. This book, I should definitely be doing the X method in like I do with my Belba family books. So... The next one is, I got this one, um, this is Colour by Number Quest Squares and this is by Kira Shershineva and it gives you a 22 colour palette throughout this book. Um, I haven't got too many of the Colour by Number books, I have got a few of the one colour books, I uh, might actually have them all. This one it, again, it's a little bit like your Belba family book. You've got your squares. It, the pages are black um, background. You have your numbers at the bottom. So actually, this would be really handy. On each page, it doesn't have your colour palette. But say if you're doing a picture, say if you're doing this one here, you've got one, two, three, four, seven. It only gives you the colour palette for that actual picture so i think what i shall be doing i'll be getting the colors pre color in this book numbering them with the colors and then doing it that way because i think that's what would work well in that oops sorry zooming you in instead of out so i think that's what i'm going to do with that i'm going to allocate some markers for this book and I shall be like putting like a sticky tab around the paint, around the pens. So the next one is Flower Stained Glass Colour by Number. And this is, again, it's by Kira Shershin either. And this is a 22 colour palette. Now you may have seen this book a couple of times from... I know that a few people have uh, showed this on the channel. But I did want to show it on mine and... I will be doing probably a colour and chat sometime throughout it. So this is like their other one. They don't have the colour palette on that page. They just have the numbers at the bottom. So what you can do to save you flipping back and forth each time. Allocate some pens or pencils. And stick the numbers on. I think that's what I'm going to do with these books for definite. So... Two more books, no, three more books to show you. So the next one is this one. My lovely, lovely mother-in-law <laughs> got me this for uh, Christmas. This is Jason Momoa, Chris Hemsworth and the most sexy actors on the planet. And this is Dots, Lines and Spirals. This one is by John Murphy, I'm sure it is. Because um, I remember a while ago I showed her the book. And because my mother-in-law, she, uh, she's kind of got the hots for <laughs> Jason Momoa. She thinks he's absolutely dishy. So, yeah, so she decided to get me this book. Not Maybe she's telling me something here. It's also got my favourite actor in there. Oh, gosh. I can't remember what his name is, but he plays... Oh, what's his name? He's in The Witcher. <clears throat> he plays The Witcher. And he also plays Superman, like the later Superman movies. He's my drool fest. And also this one at the bottom. Oh, what's his name? <laughs> I keep forgetting all the names now. Mm. I'll probably remember when I've done the video and then I'll be frustrated with myself. 
So it's got quite a few actors on the back of here. So yeah, I I think she wants me to do a picture of Jason Momoa for her. So I think it's only fair that I do that for her. Uh, as she got me the book. So yeah, I she'll definitely be doing that. And this is one of the good um, lines and dots and spirals books. Yeah. So there is that one. Um, and the next book, I got this, purchased this one myself. This is Unicorn Black Background by Colour Questopia. Um, this has the sim more of a simple colour palette on here. I know the lighter books do have more of a complex colour palette. And you've got your trial pages at the back. And then these are here. They do have this in the light that you have to do the line art version. But as I said, I'm a fan of the versions like you have to do yourself no i like the black background version get me words out so yeah really pleased with that so the next book now this is what my mother-in-law got me for christmas this was in my um christmas box because I like The Witcher and she got me a few of the Witcher kind of things. She also picked up the Witcher colouring book. I had no idea there was one of these books. I knew there was the lines, dots and spirals which I won't go into. Yeah. But this one, it's more of a detailed kind of a book. Um, I will attempt it. I am going to try it. I'm determined to try it. One of my resolutions this year is, besides finishing 10 books, I'm going to try and colour in some non-colour by number books. I love my colour by number books, but I've got a load of books that are non-colour by number, and I've, I do need to start using them. So, yeah, I will start colouring some pictures out of those kind of books. So, I think I'm going to mainly focus on this one. And just go to town with my pencils, just try some blending, get some blending done, do some fine line work and just do it that way. So yeah, that is that book. So now the next book is technically, it's not a colour by number, it's not a colouring book. But I thought I'd show it you, I always have one of these in my Christmas stocking from my mother-in-law. She got... This is uh, a word search collection book. I have already done four of them. <laughs> so this is by uh, Puzzler. And I always have one of these, like I said, in my um, Christmas stocking. And I love, I don't do them a lot, but they are good to do for when I just want to do something. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. And the last thing I want to show you guys is these. These were a gift from my lovely, lovely husband. Yeah. <laughs> my hubby, he very kindly, <laughs> kindly treated me to a set of the fourth set of the Arteza uh, colouring pencils, 120 sets. Because I have got the 72 sets. Um, they are great for the Les Grands Classiques books. I absolutely love them. Um, when there was a Fleur Black Friday deal on them, it no, it wasn't a Black Friday deal. It was the oh, Amazon Prime deal. There was, oh gosh, there was down to about half price. So my husband said, go on. He said, I'll get them for you. He said, but you can put them away for Christmas. And it was only a few weeks leading up to Christmas. And I thought, you know what? It, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Grab them. So, yeah, my husband treated me to these for Christmas. Um, at the bottom of the tin, it gives you all the colours that it has. Um, and it also has some um, the metallic colours. I have not opened it yet because you can see it's still got the film thing on. But yeah, my husband treated me to those. So guys, that is my colouring haul for the month of December. Quite a lot of it was, like I said, from vouchers from what I had for Christmas. Some of it was Christmas presents. And I, an odd one or two books were what I purchased myself. So yeah, I was... <laughs> 
I was spoilt. I was spoilt this Christmas. So guys, um, I hope you've had a lovely Christmas. Uh, as can be, because you know the current situation. Um, I hope you have a lovely New Year. Oh, obviously, I will be back before the New Year because I've got to do my finished pages and that. So, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please feel free to press that subscribe button and the notifications so you'll be notified of when I bring the next video out. And until next time, thank you for watching, guys. Bye!